What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one. Ready to give you this message today. <sighs> clear your energy. Just take a moment for yourself. Whatever happened today, just at least you have this moment for yourself. In fact, if you need to turn this off to give more to yourself, do that. <laughs> And then tune back in, baby. I'm here. I'm waiting, okay? Um, but today is, oh gosh, today is May 2nd. Today is May 2nd. Thursday, May 2nd. I'm not ready to take right now. I'm still shuffling. If you need a personal, my um, email is in the bio. Um, I usually respond within just a day or two, but it's taking a little bit longer right now just because there are a lot of um, messages and I do go by the queue, you know, I don't just start from the top. All right, thank you spirits. Thank you ancestors, angels, guides. <clears throat> And I am so sorry if you cannot hear me or hear me well. Um, I don't, I've never really read publicly in tarot. I've always read for families and for individuals in person. Um, so this is all rather new to me. Let me, I will look into different microphones or setups and stuff. Um, so thank you for being so patient with me. I really appreciate that. Um, also, thank you to everyone that's worried about, like, my allergies and stuff. Like, babe, I'm okay. I took some Claritin. Uh, <laughs> it does suck, though. And it's just so sweet that you even care and, and that you all put up with my readings as I was all nasally and maybe even still nasally today. It's probably, my sinuses are probably still on All right. What else do we have? Woo! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Right? Like, two minutes in? Only got two cards? But I was talking, so... What needed to come out wasn't going to come out. Okay, I know what this reading is going to be about. It's going to be all about not looking back. Not looking back, looking forward. That's exactly what this is about. All right, so first card out is um, the Fool card. Okay, so this, I'm sure you've heard it before, but I'm going to say it again. This is all about believing in the impossible. Going after what you want with a very pure mindset of taking a leap of faith not knowing what's there because that's what makes the fool so great right they think nothing is impossible they have no idea that there's a possibility of failure or anything like that that's how strong the manifestation is it's a really great way of manifesting within reason though right i mean this is obviously a very dramatic illustration <laughs> of that concept someone about to like possibly fall to their death <laughs> and their dog watching them but it's i mean it really means something a lot stronger and higher than that. So just know that with this, because what I'm seeing here is that either you've taken a, a leap of faith, which it seems like it was on your own. You took a chance on yourself, maybe a business going after an education, higher education or training or certificate or certification. I mean, um, moved, you did, you did something for yourself or you want to do something for yourself. Because this is you waiting for your ships to sail in. So this is about you not looking back. And I said that, right? So what came out next is the Five of Swords reverse and the Magician reverse. So instead of it being this, to do it in sequence because this came out first, right? So this would be you walking away from a new beginning. And, in, and you're not doing that. Instead, what you're doing is looking to the future, taking a chance on yourself, taking a chance on the opportunities that lay around you. You are, in fact, looking for more opportunities or waiting for your, like I said, ships to sail in. Um, for me, when I look at this, I, I think of the Internet and this person's online. Look at the world, right? So you might be online looking at different options. Confirming all of this is the high priestess. This is, she is all knowing. She is the most self-empowered, even more than the, than the Empress, okay? And this is you, you are 
just, you are tuned in. You are fucking tuned in right now. If you are feeling like you're not tuned into the world and all that stuff, this reading is either not for you or this has not happened yet, babe. It hasn't happened yet. That doesn't mean you won't get there, but whoever I'm talking to, this reading is for someone that is in the current. You are head, like going first, head first. You, you ready to go, okay? And you are not looking back on failed opportunities or failed ending. Nope. You're not doing that. You're looking at what's to come. So what is to come? Okay. Okay. Eight of swords. Eight of swords. Whoop. Bunch of cards flipped in the deck, but they didn't fall out. <laughs> okay. Eight of swords. What is to come for Pisces? What is to come for Pisces? Passes. Ooh, yes. Okay, the cards are speaking in like a different way today, and I'm really feeling it. Uh, oh, let's do it. Let's do. <sighs> okay, remember how in the last four cards they all kind of came out in pairs a little bit, that they just kind of match the energy. This is what I'm seeing here too. You are going. This is an ending. Eight is like a cycle. Tens are cycles too. Eight is more karmic. You are leaving this. This person doesn't know what to do. They're all, do you know what I'm saying? Like they, they have all these swords around them and you're going into this. Now note that this person isn't binded as well, but not the same, okay? They're hanging from a tree. Do they look worried? Do they look concerned? They're, it, just the imagery alone lets you see the fucking evolution of you, the power of you. Okay. Yeah, you're not going back to that. So you're not going back to that. And we see it here. This shit, this is what caused it. Someone needs to hear this. You need like an overview of like what's going on or something. What caused it is all this fuckboy energy. All this fuckboy, fuckgirl energy right here. With this page of pentacles. And you doing, pulling all the work and all this stuff. These were like failed relationships. Even failed partnerships, business partnerships, uh, family relationships, I'm hearing. You're the one that would get everybody together and stuff. And you had to pull back and was like, oh, okay, no, 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 no. I'm not doing this on my own. Ooh. Crossing this and energy is the three of pentacles. You're sick of this energy. This was like, look, you, you're here doing all the work. And these motherfuckers trying to tell you what to do in your life. But bitch, I'm the one up here. I'm the one getting the family together. I'm the one making sure all the reports and documents meet our deadlines for our projects. I'm the one making sure that the house is fine. I'm the one, come on. You were, you're tired of that. What sucks too is that these people weren't even half as committed as you were. Not even, you were giving the full fucking Monty and these people were giving you pennies. Shut the fuck, get the fuck out of here. No wonder, yeah, there's so much you're walking away from. Okay, what's the message here? What's the message here for Pisces? King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Can you clarify this message more? Ten of Cups. Oh my God, can I get one more card please? Spirit. Jesus Christ, yes. Okay, okay, okay. There is... predictions and there's also warnings here okay so what you have as far as finance and also uh possibly a lover of some sort is an offer coming in this is a boss this is this is some kind of contract remember we're going from this so you ain't doing this no more this is all we're taking baby it's this or nothing you better come with it Pisces ain't playing no more you better come with it okay so this is all you're putting up with. This is all you're putting up with. As far as money is not money, as far as unions. So friendships, relationships. I'm really sensing relationships, lovers. Like it's not gonna be uneven anymore. If you if it was always you pulling, you know, making the offer or waiting for the offer, um, and and always having to start over again and 
and it, another situation ship after another situation ship that's that has stopped you have realized what you cannot return to what you need to take a leap of faith in what you need to take a leap of faith in is you because crossing this energy we haven't even finished with these four cards is the high priestess you are done you have plateaued you have really plateaued you have outdone yourself everything that was made to come against you you turned it for something to glorify your path and your journey and your growth okay and you did it in a way my god you're so strong you had to go inward there was nothing left everyone took everything from you it seems like every they, like they took everything from you i wish i had been your friend in real life this, I, I would have had you live with me. I would have, I, I don't know, but you needed things like that. You needed a friend to call. You need your and your family, your friends, your lovers. They all failed you. And they failed you simply because they didn't match you, bro. They weren't coming with the same heat that you were coming with. And you know that now. Now you know that. That's why that's why I started with this, the full card. You've decided to take a leap of faith on yourself. You really thought you needed them for so long. And you know what? It's not even that you needed them. It's that you wanted to bring them with you. That's what it was. And that too was not the will of your life. That's not, that wasn't the will over your life. Wow. Okay. So this King of Pentacles, right? This is like, you're only accepting alignment. You're only accepting big offers and alignment. Nothing less. Ten of, ten of Cups. After the Ten of Cups is the Seven of Cups. So this energy right here, what this tells me, because for sure, this is what you've manifested as far as big offers only financially, um, occupationally, you know, with your career, your business, your, your skills, your talents and stuff, whatever it is. Keep going for it. Think bigger, baby. Think bigger. Okay? Think bigger. If you think about that one shot, please think about the franchise, about what you're going to be good. Because you called, it's going to be something big, baby. It's going to be something big, okay? But this Ten of Cups with this Seven of, of Cups makes me feel like there's a warning here. It's not a warning. It's that you heard the warning. You've decided what works for you and what doesn't. Because seven is option. Seven is thinking what works for you. You can see and everything being presented in front of you. You know why? Because you're protected. Because abundance is your birthright. Because someone's watching out for you. If not many. And you have taken that in true. Other people would want to take all these cups or just, you know what I mean? Not you. You knew which one you needed to pick. And you took your time. Seven and ten. These are divine numbers. These are divine numbers, but 10, 10 is more than just a cycle, more than just completion. When I see 10, I think of work, like 10, 10. Like you actually, you went above and beyond. You got all the badges, okay? You got all the battle scars. You got, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It, it mean, look, it took for you to go through this these tens to recognize this 10 it took it to I, I, I at least you know that at least you know that all right so that's a message here as well what else do we have for pisces pertaining to them taking a leap of faith because you're showing us this for a reason maybe this is validation for maybe you're, you're in this reading looking for a sign um of what's to come maybe if you're on the right path, if you're asking yourself if you're on the right path, this is outside of life. This is not outside of life, outside of career, education, family, kids, love. It's outside of all that. It's you, your existence. Yes, you are on the right path. You have asked the right questions. You have dug the fucking deepest. You have faced your the, the need to hold yourself accountable head on. What is next for Pisces? Why are you giving us this message? What does Pisces need to hear? Oh, need right now. I'm only going to take the first card because literally like a whole stack 
fell out here, but this card came out. So this is what you need to hear. So we have the Ace of Wands. This is to me manifestation. Um, a manifestation is coming in. A manifestation. Do you want Pisces to prepare for this? Yes, you need to watch what you do with your money. You need to watch the pennies. Watch the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. Watch the pennies and the, the dollars will take care of themselves. And we got King of Swords. What else? What else do you want to have for, for Pisces? Please clarify, actually, this uh, King of, of Swords. Oh! Well, mira esto. Manifestation. So this. This is what you need to focus on. So you need to focus on taking just the actions that you're taking. Just take action. Whatever that looks like for you, take action. Um, I talked to someone recently that said that they felt like they're being buried alive. and, and Or they have been buried alive. And they don't know how to take the sand off themselves. Or how to dig themselves out. Um, and I, I advise let's let's together because i'm supporting this person i said together let's start with the first grain the first grain of dirt let's start there let's at least start there okay so just take action take that first grain of dirt that first you know that first step that first leap of faith continue to do that you're on the right path you need to watch your money things seem balanced right now but i watch your money it's this is depicting you and it's it's advice from what I'm the what I'm hearing in the message here uh, that you need to watch the pennies and where you, where they go. If you're loaning money to people and stuff like that, um, I'm not saying don't help nobody, but you can't help people to the extent where it hurts you, okay? Because then, come on, uh, I mean that's self-explanatory. What you should be focused on. There's something you stand firm on. Something you're standing firm on. Some kind of message. Some kind of uh, attachment. I don't know. There's something there that you're holding on to. And it's the truth. It's the truth. The light in the way, baby. Okay? Maybe a justice. Some kind of truth. Some Something that you believe in, even. A belief system. Something. Maybe it's yourself. But it's. It's with, with this Ace of Pentacles, this King of Swords with this Ace of Pentacles is telling me that you need to hold on to that. Because that's going to bring you, um, that's, you need to focus on that so it, it brings in a new beginning. Like a really good one. So you're able to receive it more so though. Because this note that this person has their hand open. Okay? So you need to be able to receive this. It could be that you're receiving a truth. And you need to take it with grace, baby. Okay, it's not gonna. It's gonna be a little bit of a hard truth. <laughs> Could be that too. Could be a truth that's coming in that you're gonna need to focus on. Someone is gonna pull you to the side. Oh God, I hope it's not like an argument with a stranger in the street or something. They say something that triggers you. You're gonna need to listen to that trigger, baby, because that's what it is. There's some kind. There could be some kind of truth about yourself, your habits, your routines, maybe your anger or something, I don't know, that you need to be able to receive in order to conquer it, in order to conquer it, and also to, I think, profit over it. Could be feedback. Could be something simple like feedback from from a partner, coworker, client, customer, family, friend, I don't know. It, but it's you know it could be it, it could be feedback and you need to receive that with grace receive it with grace um because you're gonna it's gonna help your finances i don't know how that's related other than <laughs> what i just said this is for someone specific it's a piece of advice a truth a belief something if it's challenged don't be an ass and don't be stubborn take it with grace didn't know you, you know, respond with something like, I didn't know you felt this way. <laughs> Sorry. You know why I'm laughing, friend? Because I don't take feedback very well. <laughs> so I got to laugh at myself a little bit giving you advice because 
<laughs> I'm still a person, you know? I'm reading the cards, but I'm still my own person. So friend, I'm so sorry for being hypocritical. <laughs> Because you're gonna you're gonna have to take this feedback. If it's feedback about your yourself, your work ethics, uh, your habits, routine, I don't know something, um, or even constructive uh, constructive criticism. So something that can be approved upon, but is not really attached to you. Take it. I'm telling you, this is going to improve a skill, a discipline of yours. Give you some kind of offer, something, something. You you never know. I don't know if you're selling something. This person might come in, give you a piece of advice, and because you take it with such grace, they weren't even going to buy nothing before, but now they're an oncoming, an ongoing client. Do you know what I'm saying? There's something about you taking it with grace that is going to work in your favor. If it's work, I can only imagine, because that's, that is a leader. That's the sign of a leader, someone that should be promoted, right? That can take feedback with grace, criticism with grace, and not just with grace, but also build on it and be like, you know, I didn't see that about myself. I still don't see it about myself, but I'm going to work on that. That's, that's the sign of a leader. So that could give you a promotion. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just saying crossing all this energy. Cause this just gave you advice about finances and home life stability and look across it. Four of wands. That's straight up home life vibes, good vibes, energy. Like everyone's happy. Everyone's at home. Hey, baby, come in. <laughs> What's up, friend? <laughs> so fucking ribs on the... Oh, my God, I want some brisket. Anyways, um, so let's talk about stability. Whatever your favorite barbecue is, please drop it. Please drop it in the comments. I want to know everyone's favorite fucking barbecue. Whether you consider it grilling barbecue, I don't care. If it touches a fucking barbecue pit of any sort, drop it in the comments. It qualifies. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. So you got really good advice here, really good confirmation and self-validation on your life path and what's going on with you right now um, as a collective too. And I really am liking what I'm seeing. I hope you have liked what you have seen too about yourself. You did that. You did that. This is just confirmation. Okay. It's you living the life. It's you doing this. This is huge. This is, I'm Pisces too. Um, but this message is not for me. Like I want to, maybe one thing is in here that I could probably relate to, but this is not for me. I always take my energy out of this. This is about the collective, which I am a part of, but this is huge. I love this for you. Look at all this stability coming in. You're on the right path. Whatever this feedback is, your finances, chill the fuck out. I know you want to buy a lot of shit. You're making more money, blah, 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 blah. You got it. <sighs> Okay, just find a way, <laughs> find a way, you know, just create a budget. I'm hearing that from someone, create a budget, start actually writing down what you do, per, at least what you purchase on the regular. If you know, you always get this amount of chicken or this amount of veggies or this amount of, 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 uh, of what be, uh, drinks, I don't know, whatever for the house, coffee, whatever, at least write all that down actually get a number try to get a number together next time you go shopping those things on that you know like i'm telling you if you if you take if you watch the pennies the dollars will take care of themselves friend they really will okay all right is there any final advice for pisces before we, oh that's a yes okay what the fuck is this bitch I mean, when was you gonna tell me about this little cocky motherfucker all right so that's the king of wands. Cocky ass. Is that the final advice? Is there any more final advice? What What about this king of pentacles? Or not the pentacles, wands. King of wands. What about this king of wands? What about this king of wands? Is there anything to say about this king of wands? Really? And this is advice. Please clarify the advice on the, okay. King of Pentacles, Judgment Card. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups. Okay, advice. Okay, okay, and the Sun Card. 
we got the um the king of wands the judgment card there's been a judgment placed there's been a judgment placed on someone this is what came out and I, i'm gonna read these all four of them together so this is queen of cups queen of wands all the way at the end here so from here to here right this is advice for you and the advice here is to watch out watch out for some arrogant energy maybe two people that are still going to see other tarot readers about you watching you be careful Hold on. Let me just clarify this. The advice here. Because this, all of this is about your life. And I just wanted final advice before we left. The final advice. I don't know if you have uh, an ex-husband. Or maybe um, you have children. But this person is facing some kind of, this is coming in. This is facing some kind of judgment. I think they might be put on child support. I think they might have broken up with who they are with. There's so yeah, there's some kind of judgment here. Do they have a kid? Does your does your ex-husband or wife or something have a kid with someone else? There's something about this coming in, but there's a judgment. If you're going to be going to child support, like court for child support or divorce soon or something, but there's a judgment coming in for this for this person and for this person, but she's not right next to him. So either they're both coming in, these two people, sorry, the glare there, these two people, so um, the king of wands and the queen of wands, they're trying to close in on you. You are protected. Your ancestors are protecting you. There is a huge judgment that's gonna fall on these people. But just look out for this because they are they are coming in strong. And again, confirming this energy is the sun card. It's the happiest card in the deck. This has to do with some kind of child, some kind of, or a happiness, just something that, I'm not sensing that it's someone still doing spell work on you. This, this, this is specific. This is weird too. It's so different from the rest of the reading, but this is specific. I said final advice. But I didn't say on what. There's, yeah. These two are trying to come in on, and it's not going to happen. It's not going to fucking work. It's just not. You're divinely protected. And if you don't have kids, this is you. This is how you are seen. And you will be victorious. This, is, this kid is victorious and happy and carefree. No restraints. Not even clothes. Okay? Riding butt booty naked on a damn horse with a flag like this person is carefree if it's not a child it's a carefree attitude you know just no worries but there is a judgment being placed on these people so this is like last minute advice for you to look out for this and or or if it's something truly stressing you know that you will be victorious in this that justice is truly going to win out okay i love you thank you for your time if you need a personal reading my email is in the bio